Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day today. And uh, what I'm going to do today is last week I did a show uh, and we, we tried to I gave you the four quick things you can do to get well. Uh, we, we talked about the, the four uh, ultimate t- tricks you can do. So what I decided, being that uh, people seem to like that topic, I had a lot of good feedback on that, I'm going to talk about healthy, way, healthy things you can do in a minute or less. Now, I've got over 70 of them that we came up with, so I doubt we're going to cover them all today. Uh, maybe we'll do a second show on it. Who knows? Maybe a third, maybe a fourth. Uh, but we're going to talk about things you can do because everybody wants it now. Everybody wants to get well yesterday, every single day. Seven days a week, somebody reaches out to me, either I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm email or if they, they call the office, they come in the office, they send me uh, questions. Dr. Joe, what can I do about blank and I want to get it done now? And I said, okay, I understand that. We all want to get well fast. If I have a headache, I want to get rid of my headache fast. If I have neck pain or back pain, if I have a splinter, I want to get it done fast. But a lot of health issues that you're dealing with took a lifetime to get there. And so it's sometimes tricky to get rid of them quick. But there's things you can do every single day to try to get well. And usually we talk about nutrition, but we're going to talk about a lot of other things today. So most people, they get serious about their health when they end up at a doctor's office and the doctor hands a prescription and says, this is something you have to take seriously. My offices are no different. Patients come in the office every day. We take an x-ray of their, of their spine. We say, listen, from a chiropractic standpoint, your neck is a mess, and we can tell, by the way, how long bones have been out of place, generally speaking, by how much arthritis there is. Now, what's arthritis? Osteoarthritis is when bones are out of alignment and they rub up against each other, and the joints wear out. So you can get osteoarthritis in any joint in your body. Get it in your skull, your feet, your shoulder, your hips, your ribs, anywhere you can get this osteoarthritis, and that's strictly mechanical. So the ultimate cause of it is something's out of alignment, rubbing up against other bones. The body sends out white blood cells to attack the inflammation. Those white, cell, blood, cell, white blood cells are not site-specific. What that means is they don't just go to one place. They go all over the body. And so these white blood cells can now essentially attack other joints. That's why a lot of people say, I have arthritis in my hands. Well, probably not. You probably have it elsewhere, and the white blood cells are attacking the weakest, most freely movable joints in your body, which are your hands. So when people come in, unless they jam their hands, of course, but if it's in all the fingers, I then have to go digging somewhere else, my team of doctors does, to try to find out where the primary site of the misalignment is. And if it's in the spine, it pinches nerves and can cause back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain. But the nerves that come from the spine also control the organs. They control your arms, your legs. They control everything. They control your blood pressure, your spleen, your kidneys, your prostate. Everything is controlled by nerves. So if you have bones out of place pinching nerves, you've got to get that fixed. 90% of your nerves don't feel pain. So you can have a pinched nerve and not know it. And in fact, 90% of the time, that's the case. That's why in my offices, my doctors check the nerves that feel pain and they check the nerves that don't feel pain to see if they're being pinched. But that's when people get serious. I don't know, probably I'd say every day or close to every day, if patients come in the office And we go over their x-rays, and we'll say, gosh, you have arthritis, you have hardening of the arteries, you have whatever, and they get teary-eyed. Really? I didn't realize it was that bad. Yeah, it is. It is that bad. What do we do about it? They would say to us, what do we do about it now? Well, now you want to do what we say. You've led your, your style of life, didn't work well, this is what's happened, now do what we say. We want to get the nervous system working, the digestive system working, and good nutrition. But it's a lot easier to prevent the trouble than it is to fix it. Most of our patients do what we say. Major, major majority, 98%, whatever, I'm making making up that number, but really high amount of patients. When they come in and say, yes, Dr. Joe, I want to get my spine fixed. I want to get my digestive system working. I want to get my diet straightened out. Every now and then, a patient knows more than us. They're brilliant. And they say, well, I, I don't have to do that. You gave me a few adjustments. I feel better. I don't need to come back anymore. Okay. Every day almost every day, I'd say maybe three, four days a week, patients come back in who didn't do what we said, and they say, you were right. I felt better. I stopped coming in. I didn't follow your advice. Now my bones are worse. That We take new x-rays. The arthritis is worse. The joints are wearing out, and they get upset. So it's a lot easier to prevent it than to fix it, especially when you have time on your side, like before it becomes a big issue. So I'm not asking you to do everything. 
I'm going to ask you to take baby steps to try to get well. So here's several easy tips that you can do in 60 seconds or less. Can I have a minute of your time? I'm not soliciting you at the airport. Can I have a minute of your time? Pick out one, master it. Pick out another one, master it. So what we're going to do is go through these rapid fire. If you want to hear them again, and I'm sure you're going to want to, we're going to archive this on my website, drjoesposito.com. It's going to be on my podcast, or just Google Dr. Joe. Uh, You can go to your podcast, your friendly neighborhood podcast group, or was it iTunes and um, uh, the other podcast companies, and it's called For the Health of It. So if you're a podcast junkie, you can go for the health of it and listen to the podcast and listen to them over and over again. Not just this show, of course, but all my shows. Now, anybody sit a lot? Raise your hands. Big problem. Wasn't a problem 35 years ago when I started seeing patients. It's a problem now. So people sit in their chairs all day. Your knees start to hurt. And what happens is your joints need lubrication. And we got to pump lubrication into those joints, and we do that by moving. And when you sit all day, your knees aren't moving. So I'm going to teach you a cool little stretch you can do while sitting at your desk. It's called a quad pump. What I want you to do is a 10-second exercise, and it causes the cartilage uh, to secrete fluid, which then bathes the knee joints in nutrients and helps them stay healthy. So sit on your chair, right? You're sitting at your desk. Okay, imagine you're sitting at your desk. Extend your legs straight out. Heels rest on the floor. Got it? Now what I want to do is tighten your quadriceps. Those Those are the thigh muscles on the front of your legs. And just tighten them. Hold it. For a, a contract it for about two seconds and then release. Repeat five times. Ten seconds, folks. That's all I'm asking for. What that's going to do is kind of pump. I can do it right now. I'm standing up. I'm doing it right now, as a matter of fact. It's going to start pumping fluid into the knees and keep those knees lubricated. Because I'm not happy with the knee joint. I tell you, when I die and go to heaven, i got to talk to God about a lot of things. i got to talk about the knee joint. Um, I'm not happy with that one. I'm not happy with other things, too. i got a list, actually, i got to talk to God about I'm not laughing in there. What are you laughing at? I'm going to die before you. Well, well, the shoulder, too. I know the shoulder's not a favorite. I'm not a shoulder joint yeah. fan either, right? So, <laughs> folks, I'm going to open up the, health, the lines. If you have a health care question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE. 844-44-DR-JOE. That number rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. My website, if you have you want to listen to the podcast, read articles. I'm going to talk about supplements in a second. DrJoeEsposito.com. Just Google Dr. Joe. But right now... 844-44-DR-JOE. We will be right back. Oh, we will be. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you're spending a little time with me. What fun, fun show today. We're giving you one minute uh, tips you can do to get healthy in, in a minute or less. So uh, some of them take 10 seconds like the one we just talked about. And if you missed it, haha, you'll have to go to our podcast and hear it. How to keep those knees healthy. And as a chiropractor, my job is to make sure you stay healthy. And we do a lot of structural work. I mean, it's pretty much what we do all day is deal with structural issues that patients have. Pinched nerves, uh, misaligned vertebrae, misaligned joints. Uh, I had a patient come in the other day. Um, he'd been every doctor known to humanity, I think, and his feet hurt so bad. And he said one of the doctors took an x-ray and said it looks like the bones are out of place. And he was absolutely right. The bones in his feet were out of place. Now, one-fourth of all the bones in your body are in your feet. So any one of those bones can move out of place, and when it does, it throws off your gait, which is how you walk, and that can cause knee pain, hip pain, headaches, Uh, Shoulder problems, if the hip drops, it pulls on the latissimus dorsi. Latissimus dorsi, it's a muscle that hooks into your shoulder, pulls your shoulder out of place. I can't tell you how many shoulder cases I've worked on over the years, and my team of doctors are now working with them, that the the, the latissimus is spasm, pulling the shoulder out of place, and they're treating the shoulder. Well, it's not the shoulder, it's the latissimus. Or you have a knee problem, and it's actually a bone and a foot out of place. So we are uh, investigators. We like to try to find out where the problem's coming from, and then get to the cause of the problem, not just treat the symptoms. And uh, folks, if you're on hold, keep holding. If you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE. I want to give you another one-minute tip, then I'll start taking calls. Patients come in. Number one reason I see patients on medication is high blood pressure. Number two is cholesterol. So cholesterol is a big issue. And one of the problems uh, we have is that your cholesterol is too high, and they want to put you on medication, which, again, if that's what you need, that's what you need. However, new research is showing that it may not be that you're producing too much cholesterol. It may be that you're not recycling the old cholesterol. And so what we need to do in cases like that is clean out the liver. And most of us have just thrown junk at our liver for years and years and years, and we expect the liver to just clean it up and throw it out, and it's fine. Eh, It don't work that way. So many times it's a liver issue. But if you want to raise your good cholesterol, your HDL, 
A lot of times folks have a sandwich with lunch, of course. Now, of course, I don't think you should be eating the bread. You've heard me, if you're a regular listener, you know I'm not a big fan of bread because it's sugar, and it has, if it's wheat, it has gluten in it. And it, many times um, modern wheat is sprayed with uh, glyphosate, which is a weed killer. And they kill the wheat so that it, uh, uh, yeah, it's easier to harvest. Well, the glyphosate stays in the plant and stays in the wheat kernels, and then you're taking that in. And a lot of people, I find, aren't having reactions to wheat. They're having reactions to the glyphosate that's sprayed on the wheat. But stay away from wheat if you can. But if you like your chips, how many people like chips? I do. They taste yummy. Man, perfect combination. Fat, carbohydrates, and salt. (laughs) Oh, you can't beat that. How about we switch to unsalted pistachios? Research at uh, Innova Fairfax Hospital in Falls Church, Virginia. People who ate two to three ounces of unsalted pistachios a day for four weeks raised their good cholesterol, or HDL, by 6%. Now, how simple is that? Who doesn't love pistachios? Gosh. So all you have to do is have some pistachio nuts instead of your chips. Won't even talk about the sandwich at this point or without you throwing down your body. But cut out the chips, go to pistachio nuts, you, and you can raise your good cholesterol by 6%. Not a bad deal. Go to callers. Geo, how can we make your day better? Hey, Dr. Joe. Thanks for taking my call. You're welcome. Uh, I've been suffering for about half my life with diverticulosis. Sure. Recently, you've been told uh, after a flare-up of uh, diverticulitis to consider doing elective surgery. Mm. And, uh, of course, I'm trying all holistic methods now Mm -hmm. uh, to include using some of your uh, advice and products. Perfect. Uh, any ideas beyond that? Of course I have ideas, Gio. <laughs> I have ideas on everything. Yeah, okay, number one, you have to stop irritating the bowels. The bowels heal very quickly. The liver heal is the fastest healing organ in the body. The bowels are right behind that. So we, I want you to cut out the, the number one and number two irritants, and that would be dairy products and wheat. Okay, so no dairy products, no wheat. That's going to help tremendously to stop irritating. You're like picking at a scab when you do these things. Uh, you want to get something that's easily absorbed into the body, like Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're powders, so they're really quick and easy to absorb. And you want to get as much nutrition as, in the body as you can. You can also try aloe vera. You, well, if you get the aloe vera, make sure you go to a health food store. Don't, don't just go to like, you know, big box store, discount store, because there's, there's cheap versions. And the aloe vera is very soothing and calming to the bowels. And one thing you probably haven't thought about, Geo, is check the nerve supply that controls the bowels. Because if you have a pinched nerve in the low back, that's the nerve to the colon, sex organs, and bladder. So every case I've ever seen with diverticulitis or diverticulosis, there's always a, a, a neurological component that's always overlooked. You want to open up those nerves, get the nerve and blood supply flowing easily into that area. And do you have acid reflux or heartburn too? Sometimes. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 So we want to take that and we want to take the stomach and massage it and pull it down away from the diaphragm so that relaxes. It's a big tube, your digestive system. It just relaxes the whole tube to get the spasms out of there. So we've seen many, many cases with this. And and, and in most cases, we get the diet right, the digestion right, and the the nerves right. They get pretty good results with it. Okay. And the the aloe vera, uh, you're advising – Take it whole, or should I put it in some liquid to, to drink it? Yeah, you, how should I? You, you, they have a drinkable form of it. If you go to, like I said, a good health food store, would have it, and you could just take a, you know, whatever they say, a couple of ounces of it every day, and that's that's very soothing to the bowels. But you got to stop doing what you did that caused this to happen, and that's you've heard the seven deadly sins: alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. So. Easy to digest foods, super greens, essential source would be good. You might even want to try Dr. Joe's nitric oxide. That'll increase circulation, which will bring healthy uh, blood into the area to help help it heal. But this is not a death sentence in any way, shape, or form. And you know what? Let's assume we do all this and it doesn't work. You can always have surgery. But yeah. chances are we won't have to go to that extreme. And that's why a lot of surgeons send us their cases before they even operate and say, you know, Dr. Joe, have your team look at this patient neck pain, back pain, colon issues, and let's see if you can fix it before we cut them open. And those are the doctors I like to work with. So. Okay. All right. Well, well, great. Give it a shot. Pre- let us know how it goes. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you. Appreciate it. Folks, if you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-J-O-E. We're talking today about things you can do to get healthy in a minute or less. I don't know how to make it easier for you. When you come into the doctor's office, 
I want you, when you come see us or any doctor, I want you to get right to the point. And the reason is the average medical doctor now spends about three minutes in a typical office visit with the patient, you and the doctor one-on-one. This is from a, a medical survey that was done. So we spend a little more time than that with our patients, which is nice. But once again, it's not like the old days where you can sit around for a half hour with a patient. And that stinks. And I wish I could. However, the insurance companies pay the doctors less and less and less. I, for years, I keep thinking it can't get worse than this. And then it does. And then it can't get worse than this. And then it does. So, folks, get to the point when you're with your doctors, and I think that's going to help tremendously to, so the doctor can focus on your specific issues. Got to go to break. If you have a healthcare question, 844 44 Dr. Joe. My website, if you want to order Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, Nitric Oxide, the other supplements we have, the B vitamins, the probiotics, the adrenal support, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. The number 844 44 Dr. Joe rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. So if you want to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge in the Atlanta area. Hey, tell your friends about the show. I'll be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. We're talking today about things you can do to get healthy in a minute or less, and not just nutrition, but a lot of different things. Uh, a little exercise you can do sitting at your desk, um, how to deal with your doctor. When you come into the doctor's office, how do you deal with your doctor? We talked about that. Get to the point. Because unfortunately, in this environment, doctors don't have a whole lot of time to sit and talk to the patients. Would we like to? Absolutely. My doctors and I talk about it literally every day. Gosh, I'd love to spend more time with this patient. I really would. And we do spend as much time as we need to with the patient. But you can help all of us, not just my doctors, but all doctors, by getting to the point and not going through the whole thing of you know stories and about kids and grandkids. And we'd love to sit and chat with you. We really would. Mm, but unfortunately, somebody's making a heck of a lot of money because everybody's insurance premiums are going up and the doctors aren't making it and the hospitals aren't making it. So I don't know who's making this money, but I don't know, man. They're going to have quite a little uh, little treasure chest there when they're all done. So get to the point. Uh, something else you might want to consider, I'll start taking callers in a second at 844-44-DR-JOE, is dry cleaning. Sounds like a strange thing, doesn't it? A lot of dry cleaners use a solvent called uh, perchloroethylene. And it's a known carcinogen, and it's one of the most common household toxins, and it could be linked to possible mental illness. So it's a big issue. So you don't want to get it on your skin, of course, and the chemical, if it's not disposed of properly, can seep into the water supplies and cause problems. So a simple thing you can do is ask your dry cleaner, do they use PERC, it's called. And if they do, you might want to consider getting another dry cleaner. The other thing you can do is whenever you take clothes home from a dry cleaner, is air them out. Take them out of the plastic, and I hang them in my garage, and let it air out for a day or two. Now, if you just had laundry done, it's not, if you just close the laundry, it's not that big a deal. But when you have dry cleaning done, those chemicals, if you put it in your closet, well, it's kind of trapped in there then, and you're inhaling these toxic chemicals. Is it going to be the biggest thing in the world if you don't do that? Probably not. But we do know that they have higher risks of cancer among people that work in dry cleaning, in the dry cleaning industry. So it's, it, it's just another little tip you can do, a little safety thing that you can do just to be careful. All right, let's start taking some more callers at 844-44-Dr. Joe. Dennis, how can we make your day better? Well, Dr. Joe, uh, two days ago I, was, I, I went to an emergency room with, from having a bump on my neck and was diagnosed with cellulitis. Ended up on antibiotics, of course, uh-huh. and that the, the cellulitis has not gotten any better. Um, it's quite painful and has progressed, you know, pretty good. Oh yeah, um, indurated under the skin um, and a big, pretty good size area on the side of my neck. Ow! Um, right on top of my carotid artery, about the size of a baseball. Really? Wow! Holy cow! Yeah. So I was like, I mean, it's not. It doesn't poke out that far. It's it's raised the skin. And there's um, a center area that where the, you know, the bacteria was um, introduced. And sure. I was wondering if, if there's anything I can do. Uh, well, a couple of things. Help me. Yeah, you definitely want to stay under medical care for this one. Um, that's an yep. absolute necessity. We don't want this spreading. Uh, a couple of things you might want to try is get some coconut oil, extra virgin organic coconut oil, and rub it on the area. Yes, sir. Because coconut oil is antibiotic, antiviral, and antifungal. If you want to get really crazy, you can smash up a garlic clove or two and mix it in with your coconut oil. It's not a lot. And the garlic is also antibiotic, antiviral, and antifungal. So you can approach it from the inside out with the antibiotics and then approach it from the outside in as well. So that's maybe okay. something you might want to consider as well. 
Uh, drink a lot of water. Uh, if it were me, I would take Dr. Joe's seasonal booster. Um, do, do, Dr. Joe's which? Uh, seasonal tonic and wellness booster. Uh, they're, okay. They're, they're, yep. two, they're, they're on my website, and one of them is herbs. It's uh, echinacea, powdiarco, olive leaf extract, suma root, and that stimulates the immune system. So that's one I take every day in the winter to keep my immune system strong. And then Dr. Joe's seasonal tonic is ginger, horseradish, cayenne, pepper, onion, and garlic pureed in apple cider vinegar. And that gets into the body, and I take that if I have an active infection to help fight it off. But once again, you definitely want to continue with the medical. You want to co-manage this case. Okay. Okay, let's try those, and let's see if we can get this thing taken care of. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. Yeah, folks, again, uh, if you need medical care, you want to stick with the medical care. Absolutely. And I support that 100%. But what we talk about on this show is how we can co-manage your case, how me— and my doctors can co-manage your case with the other doctors to get the best results. And it's great because we'll call up doctors and say, hey, listen, you know, we got this and this. We're going to recommend this and this. And the doctor's like, great, that's wonderful. Let's, let's, let's make it happen. And a lot of those doctors, interestingly enough, become our patients because everybody wants to get well. Everybody has the same problems. We all have health problems. What can we do to get them well? Doctors are patients too. And so that's why they usually become uh, patients. Now, how about headaches? If I have headaches, raise your hands. Yeah, a lot of you do. Okay. Feel a migraine coming on. Interesting. Try eating an organic Granny Smith apple. There was a study from the Taste and Smell Treatment and Research Foundation in Chicago. Who set that up? I have no idea. Subjects, uh, when they had a, a migraine attack, sniffed test tubes containing green apple smell. The patients improved more when they smelled green apples. Kind of strange. Researchers couldn't really say why it happened. But the smell of a green apple actually, actually reduces muscle contractions in the head and neck, reducing the headache pain. Earlier studies found that the smell of green apples helps reduce anxiety as well. Another trick you can do when you have a headache is put your feet in hot water. Because what will happen is the blood will then go down, down to your feet and be pulled away from your head. So it's just another little trick you can do. Especially if you have a throbbing pain, many times that's a neat little trick. And if you want to double the bonus here... Put some ice on the back of the head and then put your feet in hot water. And that will draw the blood away from your head. And I'm a big fan of ice. Heat, heat can increase circulation, which can then increase inflammation. So I'm not always a big fan of using heat when it comes to injuries. And as a chiropractor, and a, you know, I'm, I'm board certified in chiropractic, orthopedics, pain management, double board certified in nutrition, BS in nutrition, retired dietitian, award-winning author. This show, of course, is heard coast to coast and around the world. As far as I know, it's the number one health and wellness radio broadcast in the world. And, I'm not, and people come to us all the time from all over the world with pain issues because we're really good at that. But I'm not a big fan of using heat too often because sometimes heat can actually increase the problem, not decrease it. Ice is always safe unless it's you know diabetics or if you have frostbite, but heat is not always safe. So that's why I like to recommend uh, using ice when possible. Another trick, and this is a fun one, and I do this a lot, by the way. This is a little secret, little inside Dr. Joe scoop. Sprinkle cinnamon uh, in your food. And if you're drinking coffee, I don't recommend you do. If you're going to drink coffee, you shouldn't. But if you do, I want you to do organic only because organic has less pesticides and chemicals in it. But even if you sprinkle, sprinkle some in your coffee grinds before you brew it, this antioxidants in there to help fight the free radicals that coffee can produce. It may help reduce blood pressure and lower stress, and it also helps burn fat. So what I do is when I take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source, which, by the way, everyone should be taking, I believe, almost everyone, um, I take a scoop of Dr. Joe's Super Greens, a scoop of Essential Source, a little bit of coconut milk, shake it up. I'll add a little bit of cinnamon to it, and the cinnamon helps stabilize your blood sugar. It's one of the great little tricks I give my patients that are diabetic because it helps stabilize blood sugar, and it could, along with a good diet and everything else, help you with your weight issues. So, you know, half a teaspoon, teaspoon of cinnamon. Folks, got to go to break. If you have a health care question, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. That number rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. If you want to order Super Greens Essential Source, uh, we, you know, we talked about the, um, uh, the, the wellness booster, the seasonal tonic, the other supplements we have. Those are all on my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. Also available on Amazon. If you have an Amazon account, you can order from there as well. 844-44-DR-JOE for your health care questions. I'll be right back. Health care questions.
Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. So happy to spend some time with you. Isn't it great, man? Just a, just me and you hanging out, talking about healthy things. It's a lot of fun. If you have a healthcare question, 844-44-DR-J-O-E. Dr. Joe, hey, listen, do me a favor. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, and the ultimate thing is go to my website, drjoesposito.com. And right on the front, it says sign up for my newsletter. I want you to do that. Because we send out a lot of good information. Sometimes if we, uh, when I do live lectures, I want you to come out to the live lectures, by the way. I have one this week, as a matter of fact. You might want to go to my website and find out if you can come. Uh, this week is no charge, actually. Sometimes big companies sponsor it and they want to charge things. Um, but a lot of times they give us free tickets, so we send out free tickets. We have little bonuses and surprise we give out. But sign up for the newsletter. That's for our newsletter, folks. And that's at the website, drjoesposito.com. But do follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram as well. We do send out a lot of good information there. So we're talking today about things that you can do in a minute or less to help yourself get healthy. And here's one I want you to consider, too. I want you to dry brush your teeth. What the heck does that mean? So before you put toothpaste on the brush, take about 30 seconds and brush your teeth with, a, with just a, the toothbrush alone. By doing that, it cuts your tartar by about 60% and also reduces the risk of bleeding gums by half. Uh, use a, a, a soft bristle brush, of course. Scrub the insides, top and bottom of your teeth, and then do the outer surfaces. Rinse, and then you can brush with toothpaste. Because the toothpaste really doesn't do anything. I'm going to give you a little inside scoop from a dentist friend of mine. And he said the toothpaste doesn't do anything. It just makes it taste good and create, it makes it slide easier. But sometimes you don't want that. So if you dry brush your teeth before using the toothpaste, just for about 30 seconds, you'll, you'll actually get a better clean. That's kind of a fun little tip there. Ketchup. Anybody like ketchup? I do. However, ketchup is up to, up to 42% sugar. So next time you're going to have your organic vegan veggie burger, I'm sure that's what most of you are eating. USDA researchers recently compared lycopene levels of 13 commercial varieties of ketchup, and they found the organic brands pack as much as three times the amount of cancer-fighting phytochemicals than ordinary brands. So here's a real quick, easy way to add some good nutrients to your life. Now, again, sugar's loaded with ket sugar's lo uh, ketchup's loaded with sugar, uh, but if you're going to do the ketchup... Use it sparingly, but always do the organic. The darker red the ketchup is, the greater the lycopene content. And so you definitely want to get the organic if you can. And it's not that big a difference. And here's the thing. 33 years ago, when I decided to become a freak and start eating like this, it was a difficult. It was a lot of salads, a lot of soups, and that's pretty much what you ate. Now you go anywhere. You have vegan options, gluten-free options. You have plant-based options. It is so much easier now than it used to be to eat healthy. And here's the secret. It's a whole lot cheaper, too. So maybe you're just cheap, and that's your motivation. Well, I don't care. I don't care how you get here. Just get here. A song by Olita Adams way back when. And I don't care how you get here. So whatever your motivation is, if you want to be healthy, if you want to save money, if you want to save the environment, if you're an animal rights activist, um, if you want to live longer, if you want to lose weight, it's all the same thing. That's what's so cool about this. It's not hard. It's easy. Here's one for you probably never thought of. Why don't you, anybody do ear exercises? This is a fun one. I always did this. I never knew I was doing it. Music can be good or it can be bad for your hearing. So if you want to be able to hear until your ripe old age, and a lot of that's a big issue with folks that are seniors, you know, you can fine-tune your ears. What, so what I want you to do is next time you're in the car or listening to music, turn down the volume to a normal level. I was at a shopping mall the other day, and some guy drove by in this really cheap, beat-up old BMW, and he had this music playing, and it was just cursing, and, 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 and I, won't, I won't go into it about the things that he was saying on the song, and blaring out of his car. And I thought, man, do you want your kids to hear this? I don't want to hear it. But then I thought, how much damage this guy is doing to his ears? So the volume that you can have your radio on is you should be able to have a conversation with the music playing in the background. If it's more than that, it's probably too loud. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to start listening for a single instrument in each song or whatever it is. Listen for a drum, listen for a guitar or whatever, and just focus on that instrument. And what that's going to do is it's going to help your uh, exercise your ears and your ability to perceive more details in everyday sounds. So if you're just listening to a bunch of stuff in the background, uh, it's okay. But you can do these ear exercises, focus on one specific instrument, 
and see what happens. And you're actually going to help your body listen better, and that's going to help your hearing later on in life too. Phones are starting to light up at 84444 Dr. Joe. Keep house plants around, especially if you keep your heat on in the winter. And a lot of times in the winter, the air dries out, of course, and that becomes a problem. But if you put ferns, especially in your house, the ferns are going to add moisture to the air naturally. And also what they do is they suck toxins and pollutants out of the air as well. So that might be something you want to consider um, putting in your house as well. And I like plants around the house. In fact, I was working in my garden today. Um, just a lot of fun. And that's something else you can do too is if you, don't, if you don't live in a place where you can grow a lot of plants, maybe just grow some herbs. Grow some oregano, by the way, which is great for the immune system. Um, grow some oregano. Grow some basil, which is very good to calm you down. And just add it to your foods, fresh herbs every day. Rosemary is amazing. And you can take the rosemary, cut it up, and dry it. Um, and then you can add it to your foods. Outside our offices in uh, the Marietta office in the Atlanta area, we have these two huge uh, rosemary bushes. And uh, they started dying a little bit. I guess they're getting older, and I had to trim them back a little bit. But a lot of patients come to our offices and just cut off pieces of rosemary bush and take it home with them. Leave it in your car, if nothing else. It smells great. So there's a lot of little things you can do to keep yourself going and healthy and this way when you're gardening it's good for you too it's a very good emotional thing and if you can get out in the dirt it's really not a bad thing do an organic garden of course and just touching the soil there's going to be a lot of good microbes and bacteria that are going to get on your body which are really important to keep yourself healthy now here's a little tip that i use and i want you to use it too if you want to if you have enough space you can get wood chips any company that cuts down trees is going to give you free wood chips they got to get rid of them, otherwise they have to pay to dump them. Get the wood chips delivered to your house and then spread them out as a ground cover. It keeps the soil moist. It uh, prevents weeds from growing if you put a good six-inch layer of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of wood chips there. And then as the wood chips compost, they make your soil very rich, and you'll find the soil becomes loaded with worms, good bugs. Um, it's really good for you, and it's good for the garden, good for the environment as well. This way you don't have to spray weed killers. Folks, got to go to break. If you have a health care question, 844-44-DR-J-O-E. -Dr if you want to order supplements, super greens, essential source, uh, nitric oxide, that's really great for circulation, adrenal support, probiotics, those are all on the website too, drjoesposito.com. Just Google Dr. Joe. Uh, you can catch my podcast on the website. Uh, if you want to make appointments in the Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge, we have offices. Hey, tell your friends about the show. We'll be right back. Hey, tell your friends. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. I am so happy to spend a little time with you. What we're talking about today are things that you can do to get healthy in a minute or less. Trying to make it easy for you, folks. I don't know how to make it any easier. So a uh, couple, let, let's, let's jump right into it. Gosh, I've got, I found about 70 different things I came up with that you can do, and I'm certainly not going to have time to cover them all. And plus, I want to take your calls at 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. Hopefully give you a little health advice that might work. Uh, smelling peppermint can boost your exercise performance, make it one of the most popular aromatherapy scents on the market. Researchers said the scent of mint alters your perception of how hard you're exercising, which can make workouts seem less strenuous and you don't mind exercising longer. So a little trick you can do if you get a natural organic mint, you can suck on that or you can get some really good essential oils. Now, if you're going to do essential oils, make sure you get quality ones. Don't buy the cheap stuff at the discount stores because many times they're not really essential oils. And this kind of aggravates me. There are air fresheners that you can you know, you plug it into the wall, and it says made with essential oils. And then you read the ingredients, and there's all these chemicals and phthalates and hormone-disrupting junk that's in there. And then they add a little bit of essential oil. So get a good essential oil, and if you want to try it, just put a little bit. You can put it on your neck maybe. Um, and Believe me, it's much nicer than perfumes. Uh, maybe a little on your neck or on your hand or something. And just see when you're working out, see if it helps. That's what researchers say it does. So it's worth a shot. Doesn't work, doesn't work. So what? Uh, but I like essential oils. And, and I'm not a fan of perfumes or colognes or hairsprays or scented deodorants or any of that. Because many times they contain something called phthalates. And phthalates uh, are endocrine disruptors. They mess with your hormones. So not a big fan of perfume in any way, shape, or form. But essential oils, perfectly fine with. And they're really nice, too. Some of them are really great. Check your pee. What? Check your pee. Most Americans walk around chronically dehydrated. And that affects your energy level, your fitness, your digestion, your ability to heal. As a chiropractor, patients come to us all the time. And we do a nutritional workup on all our patients. 
we want to anyway. Hopefully they, they work with me on it. And we talk about what to eat, what not to eat. And one of the things I want to push is that you really need to make sure you're getting enough fluid. You should drink enough water that when you pee, it looks like either a pale lemonade or it's clear. Now, if you're taking Dr. Joe's B vitamins, which I think you should, by the way, it's going to have a brighter yellow color to it. That's okay. But other than that, if your pee is yellow, if your pee stinks, if you put it in a clear glass and look at it, it shouldn't have stuff floating around in it. So it should be like a pale lemonade or clear. That's going to be the best thing. And that, can, that means you have enough fluid in your body. So many patients come to me with fatigue. And that's one of the big things they come to us with. Neck pain, back pain. No, spinal pain, of course, as chiropractors is number one. Uh, number two thing we see people for is digestive issues, acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating. And then across the board, uh, people want to get well. And so one of their big things is that they're tired all the time. So we, we help with that as well. Um, and I have to say this. I didn't say it in the first half of the show. I forgot. If you've ever been in a car accident, if the car was damaged, you were damaged 100% of the time. And unfortunately, there's a lot of scammers out there, doctors, lawyers, always trying to get your business. And um, that's why if somebody ever calls you and you're in a car accident and they say, oh, by the way, uh, I work with the such and such injury board or something like that, it's probably a scam. They might have got your, got your address illegally or their phone number illegally, and you don't really want to follow up with that. Uh, but we treat a lot of car accident patients, and attorneys love working with us because we try to get the patient well. And oftentimes the insurance adjusters listen to my show. And they'll say, oh, it's Dr. Joe. We know him. We know he does a good job. And so it makes life a lot easier. So, And not just for you, your friends, your family, and your children. If kids are in a car accident, guess what? They have spines too. They get bounced around just like you do. So that's why if you're ever in a car accident, the sooner you get to us, the better. But even if it was 50 years ago, if you didn't get it fixed, chances are the bones are out of place. They're rubbing up against each other, and they're wearing out. Other things you can do to keep yourself healthy in a minute or less. Germs hide underneath your fingernails. So just washing your hands quickly doesn't do it. So make sure when you're washing your hands that you scrub your fingernails a little bit. And if you use bar soap, which I use liquid soap, but if you use bar soap, dig your fingernails into the bar and get some soap underneath there. And if you've got a brush, even better still. Leave one in the shower if you want and just brush your fingernails out. Because germs can live under there, and believe me, it's not fun. And a lot of people who are always sick oftentimes are nail biters. And if I can get them to stop biting their nails, a lot of times that helps with their immune system. Now, most of us, myself included, have a lean forward. You sit all day at your computer. You, you bent over. So what you want to do is a little stretch you can do. Uh, stand facing the corner of a room. Raise your hands to shoulder height and place your elbows, forearms, hands uh, against each wall. So you got it. You're in, you're in the corner and you got your arms on either side of the wall. Lean forward and hold that stretch and flex your chest and back muscles for about 15 seconds. So you're stretching out your shoulders. Another way you can do this is go to a door and put your hands on either side of the door and just lean into the door and stretch out your pecs and your, and your chest muscles. And then if you want to get really crazy, just put your arms up like, you, like a cop has you under arrest there and just bring your shoulders together. Just bring your shoulder blades like you're trying to touch them, like you're trying to pinch a walnut or something in there. And that's going to work out the muscles that pull your shoulders back, okay? And that's it's really important because all day, every day, we're leaning forward, and I do it too. So you got to get in there and do those exercises to bring the shoulders back, and it's, it's, it's a nice little break. So here's a little trick you can do. First of all, you're going to do your quadriceps uh, contractions. If you missed it, it's, uh, we talked about it first part of the show. It's on my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. And that's where our podcasts are, hundreds and hundreds. I think we have over 1,000 hours of podcasts now. Um, and then you can do your uh, quadriceps stretches. You can do your back stretches. And if you're drinking a lot of water, you got to get up and pee. So that gives you an excuse to get out of your desk. And, folks, if you want to get supplements, I'm, I'm a big fan of supplements. We have a lot of supplements that I've created, Dr. Joe's Enzyme Support, if you eat a lot of cooked foods. Uh, if you're tired a lot, Dr. Joe's Optimal Adrenal Support. B vitamins are important, nitric oxide for circulation. Those are all on my website, drjoesposito.com. And, of course, the, the flagship of the supplements, Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Absolute minimum amount of nutrients you should be taking every day. And dollar for dollar, folks, I don't know you're going to get a better deal anywhere than Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source for the quantity and quality of nutrients that you're getting. Take it for a month. See how you feel. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So what? But I'm not wrong. And those are on the website, drjoesposito.com, also available on Amazon. While you're on the website, I want you to sign up for my newsletter. We send out a lot of good information. Many times we have tickets uh, to lectures or events that we have, and we send them out to you folks 
my news, newsletter sub, uh, subscriber. So that's on the website. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. If you have a healthcare question, 844-44-DR-JOE. 844-44-DR-JOE. We'll be right back. Four. Are you there? Oh, I'm stealing from Mark, uh, Mark Aram now. <laughs> Uh, in the Atlanta area, one of my coworkers, his name is Mark Aram, and he does a show, and he says, Mark Aram here, you there. And so I know a lot of you listen around the country, so you don't know that, but I just stole from Mark. So I know, hope Mark is not listening, actually, because Mark should be sleeping. The man works hard. So, so we're talking today about um, things you can do to get healthy in a minute or less. So I'm, I'm trying to make it as easy as I can for you. 14-year study found that men whose diets with the highest amount of fruits and vegetables, gee, sounds like Dr. Joe, doesn't it? had a 70% lower risk of digestive tract cancers. So how do you reach your quota? How do you get to more fruits and vegetables? Well, according to Dr. Joe, the gospel according to Dr. Joe, you want to make sure that you're eating at least one raw fruit or vegetable every meal. Now, when I say raw, broccoli, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocados, uh, salad, one meal a day in my life is a salad. And it's really great. It's cheap. I know one of the stores, one of the discount grocery stores, they have this big uh, clamshell of uh, organic salad, four dollars, three seventy-eight actually, and you can make four or five salads out of that. And then you want to get crazy, throw a cucumber in there, throw some tomatoes in there, put some nutritional yeast on your salad. Nutritional yeast loaded with B vitamins, lots of good savory flavor in there. Uh, amino acids, I I just love it and I feel great when I take it because it gives me my B vitamins, which helps my nervous system. And as your chiropractor, I want to make sure that you get the nervous system working the best you possibly can. So something raw at every meal. But, you know, years ago, I thought this question out very in depth. And I said, what can I do to make it easier for my patients? And I didn't know I was going to have listeners at the time um, to get well. So I created Dr. Joe's Essential Source. And what Essential Source is, is we take over 17 different types of fruits and vegetables, juice them, take the water out at a very low temperature. Then we add prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, and a complete multivitamin. So there, one scoop of this is somewhere around five servings of raw fruits and vegetables. How simple is that? And it gives you a lot of nutrients, vitamins, and digestive enzymes. So I take Super Greens and Essential Source every day. I have it sitting right in front of me here in the studio, sometimes twice a day. If I'm out gardening, if I got a hot date, if I'm going for a hike, if I got to travel and I'm not going to get a good night's sleep, I'll take the Super Greens and the Essential Source to give me a double boost of energy. So it really is a fun, tasty product, relatively inexpensive, and it's pretty amazing. And I think you should try it. If you haven't tried it, do it for a month. Don't do it for a day or two. Usually people tell me after a day or two they feel better. But do it for a month and see what happens. Do it every day. I think you're going to be really happy like almost everybody else who's ever tried it. But again, more fruits and vegetables, 70% less, less risk of cancer. So not only cutting out the bad foods, but adding the good foods. So have a salad every day. And boy, is it cheap. I was talking to my buddy the other day, and uh, we were laughing. I said, yeah, I remember the days when you planned $5 for lunch. He goes, yeah, now you have to plan $15 for lunch. And that wasn't that long ago, $5 lunches. And so if you just pack a salad every day, get yourself a nice glass bowl, throw in your salad. You can buy salad dressings. You could use uh, apple cider vinegar and olive oil, two or three parts olive oil and one part apple cider vinegar. Add some rosemary, some thyme. You've got tomato growing, some basil, cilantro, parsley crazy how good it is nutritional yeast and you know people well, i'm not full after a salad we'll throw some chickpeas in there or some black beans maybe some nuts maybe some pistachios help raise your high density lipoproteins we talked about that earlier little things like that make such a big difference and you're going to save a ton of money my friend and i were out the other night we were talking if if you go out to dinner you're looking at 15 20 dollars minimum if you're going out for just a casual dinner it's a lot of money. Who has the younger generation, so like the old man now, $20 is a lot of money. And if you're going to drop that, then you throw a beer or two on top of there, you're looking at $40, $50. So you can save a lot of money easily on lunch. You could have super greens and essential source for breakfast. Then add some fruit in there, some nuts, lunch, a salad. You're going to probably lose weight. You're going to feel great. You're going to live longer, have a lot more energy. So when you do come home at night, you have that energy. You feel like going out and spending time with your friends or your family or maybe just staying home alone. I don't have a problem with you having a little personal time. So get out there and do these things, and I think you'll be blown away how easy it is to get wet, healthy. And all the studies show the same thing. More fruits and vegetables, healthier you're going to be. Other things you can do in a minute or less to get healthy. Tired all the time? 
Well, a lot of people drink coffee. How many people drink coffee? About 70 to 80 percent of you. I just spoke to one producer who's now turning his head in shame <laughs> about his coffee habit. But he does add cinnamon to his coffee. So I gave him, and I know he's doing organic coffee because I'm sure he's doing organic coffee because uh, he's my producer and he better be or else. So if you're going to do, do coffee, make sure it's organic because coffee has so many pesticides and chemicals on it. But if you're doing that to get energy, over time, you're going to need more and more of it. And if you listen to my shows in the past, I explained the whole neurophysiology of what caffeine does to the brain. But here's a little thing you can do. You could drink water. Or how about this? Let's get crazy. How about some seltzer with some lime in it? Ooh, now we're getting nuts. Carbonation and the aroma, once again, back to aromatherapies, can naturally energize your body. How about we add Dr. Joe's B vitamins to that? What a buzz, man. You want to get a buzz, B vitamins are rocking. Dr. Joe's adrenal support. If you're like the typical person and you're under stress and you're drinking coffee and you're not sleeping right and you're not eating properly, the adrenal glands can only do so much to pump out adrenaline to give you energy. Eventually, they can burn out. Bags under your eyes, chronic fatigue, sleep issues, romantic issues, these will all be signs of adrenal fatigue. And so we have Dr. Joe's uh, optimal adrenal support. So I can't imagine that you wouldn't get buzzing if you took Dr. Joe's B vitamins, Dr. Joe's adrenal support, and Dr. Joe's nitric oxide. Because I do that, and I know it works. And then, of course, I take Super Greens, an essential source, every single day as well. But it's pretty cool. And even if you reserve the nitric oxide for a special occasion, because it opens up your blood vessels to every part of your body, it's maybe worth a shot. Give it a shot and see if I'm wrong. It's still cheaper than coffee. So B vitamins, adrenal support, super greens, essential source, bam, water, exercise, chiropractic care, of course. If you have pinched nerves, that can affect blood flow and nerve supply. So you got to make sure the body is working properly, tune it up. And that's when you get an unbounding energy. It'll just be crazy how good you'll feel. Because people say, well, Dr. Joe, where do you get all this energy from? I don't have a lot of energy. I just don't deplete my body of energy like so many people do. And if you want the supplements, if you want more information, it's on the website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. If you have questions, you can call right now, 844-44-DR-JOE, and we'll get you on the air if you have a good question. If you want to send me your questions, a lot of folks don't want to do the whole radio thing. They get nervous. drjoesposito.com. We have archived hundreds, over 1,000 hours of shows, podcasts, uh, if you look up my podcast on the podcast sites, it's For the Health of It, title of my first book, Eating Right for the Health of It. Those are all there. Sign up for my newsletter. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Newsletter's no charge. Uh, we want to be your doctors. We want to help you get well and stay well. And there's a lot of good information that we send out. A lot of times free tickets and stuff like that, too. It's specials that we might run on the supplements. So make sure you sign up for the newsletter. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. And the lines are open if you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. Talking about things you can do to get healthy in a minute or less. we got a lot more to talk about. Tell your friends about the show. We'll be right back. Out. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. So happy you're spending a little time with me today. Lots of good stuff we're covering today, as always. We're talking about things you can do to get well in one minute or less. Things you can add to your repertoire of life to get well and stay well. Now, as a professional radio personality, uh, you want to make yourself sound uh, presentable and you want to make sure that you, you come across as believable. And one of the little tricks that I do is stand up when you speak. When you, when, or, or if you're on the phone as well, this works. Uh, when you stand up, you're going to get more air into your lungs. It's going to open up your diaphragm and allow more air into the lungs and you're going to sound much more confident. So if you do a lot of phone work, a lot of people sit in their offices and are on the phone all day. Get a long cord and stand up and walk around while you're on the phone. Even if you just pace back and forth, two steps one way, two steps the other way. What that's going to do is going to make you sound much more uh, confident, believable. It's going to help you oxygenate better because it's so important for the brain to get oxygen. Your brain works on three things, oxygen, stimulation, and nutrition. And nutrition, you hear me push it all day, every day. But oxygen is something that you have to get yourself. And the easiest thing to do is just stand up and do it. So get yourself a longer cord or get yourself a wired headset. Make sure it's wired, not wireless, because wireless lets electromagnetic frequencies get into the brain. And that's done many shows on how dangerous things like cell phones are. But get, on, get, up, get up, stand, walk around, 
and you'll be amazed how much better you sound. And if you're trying to cut a deal, if you're trying to negotiate something, it's going to add that little extra bonus to you. Now, I do that a lot when, when a lot of companies hire me to come in as a speaker. And they want me to do wellness programs and uh, increasing productivity at work. And one of the tricks we teach them is to uh, not have a bad lunch. Because if you and I are going to go, well, let's assume apply for a job. And we're both exactly equally qualified. And we go in after lunch for our interview. Or we're going to have to do anything after lunch. And I had a salad with some apple cider vinegar, nutritional yeast. Maybe I put some uh, nuts in there, some seeds, maybe some chickpeas. And then you had a piece of pizza. Well, the wheat is going to cause an inflammatory reaction. The dairy has casein, which can cause an inflammatory reaction. You're going to have saturated fats, which can clump your red blood cells together, which prevent you from carrying oxygen, and you get tired. So you're not going to perform as well as you should after eating a junky lunch. And I have to laugh sometimes because a lot of times they'll hire me as a speaker, and they'll serve pizza for lunch, or they'll serve ham sandwiches and, and cheesecake. And I'm like, wow. This is going to be a real tough crowd <laughs> to get my point across to. <laughs> but you'll be amazed if you do something as simple as like having a salad every day for lunch. Again, you save a ton of money. How much more energy are you going to have? And here's the other thing, too. How many of you would like to come home from work and not be exhausted? I am fine coming home from work. I, I look forward to coming home from work because I know I have a few hours of downtime just for myself. But so many patients come to my offices, and so many of you send me questions uh, over my website, drjoesposito.com, and you say, Doc, I'm tired all the time, tired all the time. I come home from work. I just want to sleep. I, no matter how long I sleep, I just don't have enough energy. I never feel refreshed. Sound like you? Yeah. I know it's a lot of you because I hear it from you every day. So simple things like having a good lunch will be amazing how much more energy you'll have. And then standing up when you're doing your business to get oxygen into the lungs is going to get oxygen into the brain. No downside to this. That's the cool thing about this show. What we talk about, there's very little risk to doing these things. Once again, always check with your doctor. We always put the disclaimer on there. Check with your doctor before any, making ma any major moves, blah, blah, blah. We have to put the disclaimer in there. But there's very little risk. Is there some risk? Absolutely. But not a lot compared to what you're doing right now anyway. So why not give it a shot? Get your nervous system working. Get your digestive system working. If you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, allow us to pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm, if that's what you have, to see if that helps you with your digestion so you can absorb your nutrients more efficiently. Take Dr. Joe's Super Greens. Take the essential source. You want to get real crazy? Add some adrenal support, some B vitamins, some nitric oxide, some probiotics. Most people have gas and bloating and terrible breath. Friend of mine, chiropractor really well respected in the field every time i talk to him his breath stinks and he's in good shape and he's thin it's a bowel problem because it smells like bowel and i don't know how to tell him but i guess i should right because and it's hard to talk to him because you can't take him seriously so if somebody has terrible breath it's usually a digestive issue if it smells like bowel if it smells like rotten teeth then it's a then it's a dental issue but stand up and move around you'll be amazed how much better you feel you're giving your brain oxygen and stimulation when you get up and move around. And then you need good nutrition, which is things like super greens and essential source. Check your skin. This is important, folks, because it's a big issue. You can get melanoma and it become a very serious problem. But when you check your skin, just check your body when you're stand, standing in the shower. But always check the bottom of your feet. Check between your toes, the soles of your feet, or uh, even around your toenails. Do it about once a month. If you need a mirror, get a mirror and check it. Because you can be getting uh, melanoma growing and you can have a real serious problem, and you're not taking care of it. So just something to consider. Stretch like a cat. Anybody ever do yoga? I've done yoga. I like yoga, actually. If you get older, it's one of the exercises you can do without hurting yourself. But doing a cat stretch is great. And you can do a cat stretch. It's called the cat-cow yoga pose. And what you do is you can kneel on your bed, on your all fours, or get on the floor next to your bed, and curl your back up like a, like a frightened cat would, okay? Stretch your back out, hold it for 10 seconds, and then drop your belly down, hold it for about 10 seconds, and do that a few times. And what that does, it opens up the vertebrae. It opens up the disc spaces in, in your body. Because as we get older, we don't have the circulation to our discs like we used to. And discs are little pads. They sit in between the bones, and they're shock absorbers. So they prevent you from just slamming the bones together in your spine. But they also 
uh, as they wear out, the, the bones get closer and closer together, and the bones can crush the nerves. That's why if you have misalignments in your spine, the bones rub up against each other, the discs will wear out, the bones get closer and closer together, they crush the nerves, nerves control your organs. So this is why I'm so heck-bent on making sure your spine is lined up properly and making sure you have good circulation. That's why Dr. Joe's nitric oxide is something that you might want to consider as you get older because it opens up the blood vessels and brings fluid into the discs and can actually rehydrate your discs. And that's a big problem. I see arthritis on the spine every, I'm going to say every day, every hour. I'm not even going to say every day. Every hour, my doctors are looking at somebody with arthritis in their spine, probably every 10 minutes, to be honest with you. So you got to get in there and get that fixed. And the reason you have the arthritic condition is because the bones are out of place, the uh, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid is the immune system attacking uh, itself. But if you want to work out and you don't know what to do, start out with yoga. Yoga is really good, very easy on the body. And the nice part is you're not competing against anybody else. So if there are certain poses or certain things you don't feel good about or don't, you can't do because they hurt, just don't do them. It's just that easy. That's why yoga is one of those really safe things, and they also teach you how to breathe as well, get that oxygen up to the brain. Folks, got to go to a break. If you have a healthcare question, this is the last segment of the day, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. If I can't get you on today, send me your questions through my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world, and I will answer your questions personally. If you want to order Super Greens, Essential Source, my books, Eating Right for the Health of It, Prescription for Extreme Health, the other supplements we talk about, uh, drjoesposito.com or Google Dr. Joe, also available on Amazon if you have an Amazon account. We want to make it easy for you. We want to get you well and keep you well. Tell your friends about the show. I'll be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. I'm so happy that you're there because we get to spend a little time together, and I like spending time with you guys. So we're talking today about uh, things you can do to get healthy in a minute or less because I don't know how to make it any easier for you. I keep trying to cut it down easier and easier and easier. Now, a lot of folks say that uh, we talked about lunch earlier. I want to go kind of continue on that a little bit. You eat lunch, and then a few hours later, you're hungry again. Ever do that? Right, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe you go, ah, I could use a snack. Well, you already had breakfast. You probably had a coffee break. You just had lunch, and you're still a little hungry. Here's the thing. When it comes to food, you're not hungry for food. You're hungry for nutrition. And the more nutrients you give your body, the less hungry you're going to be. Now, here's another thing. It's okay to be hungry. <gasps> what a concept. It's not going to kill you to get a little hunger pang every now and then. And in fact, if you allow yourself to get hungry after a few times of doing it, you kind of like it. Because whenever you have pain, your body releases endorphins. Now, endorphins are painkillers, some of them 16 times more powerful than morphine, your natural endorphins. Uh, and so you're actually cover when you have pain, your body produces chemicals to cover it up. So you can actually start to feel really good by letting yourself get a little hungry. But here's a little trick. Think about your lunch when you start to get hungry. Think what you ate. In a study, subjects were told that they were taste testing three different types of salted popcorn. They were encouraged to eat as much as they wanted. Interestingly, those who were first asked to recall exactly what they had eaten for lunch consumed 30% less popcorn than those who didn't review their lunch beforehand. Researchers said that taking a few seconds to remember what you had during the most recent meal might enhance awareness of how satisfying the food was, which can then, which can then reduce your future snacking. So think about the last meal you had. And say, oh, that was good. That was tasty. You know, Dr. Joe, you were right. I did have that salad, and I put some chickpeas in there, or some black beans, or some pistachio nuts, or cashews, or sunflower seeds. And boy, I did feel good. And you're going to eat less food. Because so many of us just eat out of reflex. Oh, it's 3 o'clock. It's time for snack. Oh, it's 5 o'clock. I have to have dinner. My rule is don't eat unless you're hungry. And what you'll find is you might start eating at weird times. You might start eating erratically. Gosh, I wasn't hungry at 12 o'clock for lunch, so I ate at 3 o'clock. Well, now I'm not really hungry at 6 o'clock for dinner. That's okay. Skip dinner. It's called intermittent fasting. And when you intermittently fast, you give your body a chance to rest. Number one consumer of energy we have as humans is romance. The number two consumer of energy is digestion. So eat foods that are easy to digest 
And if you can avoid eating the foods, I mean, of course, don't starve yourself, you'll be better off. You'll save money. You'll probably lose weight. You'll have more energy. And ironically, have more energy by eating less food, to a point, of course. So keep your house clean. This is important because, I mean, just even sitting here in the studio, when I walk around on breaks, I walk around, I usually dust. There's, there's little window sills here I dust off and I clean off the countertops because a lot of people use this studio here. But a lot of viruses, germs, bacteria, dust mites can live in your house. Now, if you don't like cleaning, like me, I have one of those robot vacuums. I love my robot vacuum. I don't know why they haven't hired me as a spokesperson yet. But I love these things. You push a button, you come home, and the floor's clean. Take it out, dump out the dirt. You'll be amazed, by the way, how much dirt you have in your house. And then put it back on a charge. It goes back to the charger automatically. And now they have them. You can even like launch it from your Wi-Fi from your phone. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Ooh, I got a vacuum. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Let me push my button. But do that. Dry your shower. I know I sound like your mother. Dry your shower. Dry your shower. I get a squeegee. I, I go through my shower, and then I dry it down with a, with, with a towel. Because if mold builds up in your house, mold can be very serious. It could come from a leaky roof. It could come from a leaky pipe, but it can also come from just your shower not being dried. Now, I can't remember the last time I cleaned my shower because I dry it every time. I've got a big shower with two walls of glass, and I just go over it with a squeegee, wipe it over with the thing. It takes about a minute and 45 seconds to clean my whole shower, top to bottom. It's exercise, especially in the morning. You're doing little squats and you're bending. But you're going to keep the mold out of the house because mold is so dangerous and clean and dust mites and dirt. And so it's really important to get in there and clean your house as often as you can. Uh, make sure, of course, if you have a dryer, which I'm assuming you do, clean out the lint trap, but also clean around it. Go underneath it. I've got a little thing you can stick down in there and clean everything out. And the reason I say that is I don't want your house catching fire. And a friend of mine is a fireman, and he says a lot of times they see fires that were caused by lint traps not being cleaned out. It's so easy. It's so simple, folks, and it's just not something a lot of people do. Uh, taking supplements, real important. As we're doing things in a minute or less that can get you healthy. Quick and easy. Make sure you're getting essential vitamins and minerals you're not getting from your food. Uh, in the su- uh, We say it all the time. In the winter, if you're not out in the sun for at least 20 minutes a day, at least put your arm out the window. Open up your sunroof if you can. You might want to take a vitamin D supplement. Now, get your vitamin D checked. Because like the, the recommended daily allowance is something like 400 international units a day. I don't think that's enough. I think you need about 5,000 international units of vitamin D. Make sure it's vitamin D3 and not vitamin D2 because vitamin D2 is synthetic and has to be converted into vitamin D3. So why take a ton of vitamin D2 when you're only going to absorb a little bit of it? Why not just take the good stuff? Oh, and by the way, it's probably cheaper to take D3 because it's not non-prescription. So you might want to consider that. Of course, as far as supplements go, Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source, that's the minimum amount of nutrients. It's a complete multivitamin, prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, iodine, just a great source of nutrients, makes you feel good, tastes good. Uh, Cost-wise, value-wise, it's just off the chart how much you get for how little it costs. Easy to do. I have jars, like little salsa jars or something. I just shake it up because we don't add a lot. We don't add anything to it that's going to uh, be a chemical to make it dissolve. It dissolves very easily, but it's natural. And natural products sometimes take a little more work, so you might have to shake it up. But you can stir it. A lot of people stir it. Uh, I use coconut milk or almond milk because I like the flavor. Um, you can use water if you want to. I find it a little boring if I use water. But make sure you're getting your supplements. Minimum super greens and essential source. I personally... Would love to have my doctors do a complete nutrition workup on you. It's real easy. You fill out forms or on my website, drjoesposito.com, and then we look at it. We look at your diet, and we can say, hey, do this, do that. Let's put together some protocols. Maybe you do appear to have a weakness in the adrenal area or the cardiac area, and we can say these are the supplements we would suggest that you might want to take to fix your problems. Folks, if you missed the show, you missed a great one. It's on the website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. If you want to order supplements, books, if you have questions, also available on the website, drjoesposito.com. Hey, sign up for my newsletter. Uh, It's free. We never give it out to anyone. A lot of good information. Sometimes we send out prizes and stuff there, too. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. If you want to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge in the Atlanta area. We would love the opportunity to be your doctors. Hey, folks, thanks for listening. Thanks for telling your friends about the show. We're going to catch you next time. 